What's up guys, it's Blake with Real Talk Power Sports and we're at Main Street Cycle again to give you a tire review. Uh, you've, if you haven't already seen our mud tire review, go check that out, it's a couple of videos ago. But now we're gonna bring you a all-terrain uh, tire review and we're gonna show you how each one compares in weight. These are all 30 inch all-terrain tires. So this will give you a good idea if you're going with a 28 inch or a 32 you'll kind of get an idea of how each one compares in weight. Uh, because like we said in the mud tire review, when you go from your stock tires and you're, you're upscaling to a, a taller tire, you want to pay attention to what kind of weight you're adding to your machine. So uh, let's start out, we have the ITP Blackwater Evo in a 30 by 10. And uh, we're going to see what it weighs and uh, compare it to the rest of them. So uh, let's take this. We got an old school scale here, but they'll all be used with the same thing, so we'll get the same comp comparison. But this is the ITP Blackwater Evo. I'm seeing 34, 33 and three quarter pounds. 33 pounds. 33 pounds. Yep. All right. Next we have the STI Roctane. This is the new, this is the new style Roctane uh, that they went to. It's the XR Roctanes. This is a 30 by nine and a half by 14. All these are gonna be for 14 inch rims. And uh, what they did on this Roctane is they went to a, a smaller uh, width tread and uh, you get more spacing and uh, it looks, a, it's a really nice looking tire. Let's see how much it weighs. We'll let it balance out. I'm seeing uh, 36 and a half pounds. 36, 36 and a half pounds for the STI Roctane tire. All right. So next, this is a you're looking for a cheaper version of a Maxxis Bighorn style tire, this here is called the, I'm going to have to look at it, it's the Switchback tires. And uh, this is a 30 by 10 Switchback tire, a lot like the Maxxis Bighorn, which is a popular tire. But this is a, a cheap alternative for you. I'm seeing 35 and a half pounds. 35 and a half pounds. 35 and a half pounds. All right. All right, now we're moving to the M1 Evil. Now this tire, I don't see anybody going to these on a, a four-wheeler or uh, ATV, but for you side-by-side -side guys, I believe that this is, uh, this is a good option for a long-lasting tread pattern. You've got deep treads and uh, they're really closely grouped together. And so you're gonna get a really smooth ride and it's gonna last a long time. But this is an M1 Evil. Let's see how much it weighs. It feels a little heavier than the others. But this would be a good option for you side-by-side -side guys. Are you good? Yeah. We are 43 and a half pounds. 43 and a half. This is definitely our heaviest tire so far. 43 and a half pounds with the M1 Evil. Now this, many of you are familiar with, this is the Maxxis Carnivores. Uh, we did this tire in the last mud tire review just as a, uh, a lesser uh, uh, aggressive tire, but uh, this is a good all around tire. Good soft tread uh, and just a good looking tire from Maxxis. But this is a 30 by 10 and it is uh, pretty light for what it is. We'll see what it how it compares. Yes, that is 30, just a hair over 34 pounds. 34 pounds. 34. 34 pounds for the Maxxis Carnivore in a 30 by 10. Now this is also a really cool looking tire from STI. This is the uh, the X Comp tire. This is, uh, is gonna be for any of you side-by-side -side guys that are running 
uh, and rocky terrain, uh, kind of a, it's, it almost, it looks a lot like a truck tire, but a really cool looking design. It's got some aggressive side lugs uh, for an all-terrain tire, but a really good looking tire. It feels pretty heavy. Let's see what it weighs. This is the... It's going to be the biggest one yet. Yeah. That is 45 and a half pounds. 45 and a half pounds for the X-Comp ATR uh, tire from STI, 30 by 10. Now this is going to be another tire that I don't think is going to be real popular in, uh, in Mississippi or Louisiana or Alabama area, but for any of you that's doing a pre, uh, like this is more like a pre-runner desert style tire, uh, anybody that's doing some rock crawling as well, or you do a lot of road riding where you're at, uh, up in Tennessee or something like that, this is the BF Goodrich KM3 30 by 10. Let's see what it weighs. It's uh, right under 40 pounds. Right under 40 pounds. 39 and a half. 39 and a half pounds. Okay, so there you have it, the comparison of the weights. Now, also, you know that not every tire measures true to size. So we'll put these back together. And you can see how the, right off the bat, the, the STI Roctanes are, this is unmounted. You know that once you mount your tires and put them at a certain air pressure, your, uh, your characteristics of the heights are gonna change. But this just kind of gives you an idea unmounted and how they stack up against each other but you see right off the bat it looks like the uh sti roctanes are the tallest tire out of these 30s um and then until you get down here to these truck style tires but the black waters these two tires here the black waters and the roctanes as well as the carnivores are kind of my top picks for any of you atv guys that want a more aggressive tire than a stock tire, but you're not wanting to go to a mud tire. But these will do decent in some light mud applications and sandy conditions. Uh, great hard pack trail uh, tire. You know the carnivores are real popular right now. Uh, anybody that's ever been a big fan of big horns, but you want a cheaper option, these tires would be a good option. All right, so after, after weighing all the tires, uh, if I were to pick out of these, now I know there's other great all-terrain tires that we don't have included, uh, but we can get them here at Main Street Cycle. But uh, th these are just what I wanted to grab and just compare for you. But if I was to pick a all-terrain tire for an ATV, if I was to pick one for an ATV, I think I would have to pick the ITP Blackwaters. They were one of the lightest being right up next to the uh, car the Maxxis Carnivores at 32 pounds, uh, w with them being 30s, the 30 by 10s. Um, and I would, I would definitely have to pick the Blackwaters because of the spacing in them. And when you're running in a trail and you get into some muddy situations, I believe that these are gonna perform the best on an ATV, they're lightweight, they, they're pretty aggressive, but yet they're gonna be really good on hard pack and for trails. Uh, and then if, for you side-by-side -side guys, I think my pick would be out of the uh, Roctanes, the new style Roctanes and the Carnivores. Um, that's, it's a super hard decision, but these are definitely my top two for a side-by-side -side option. Uh, in the all-terrain category, the new Roctanes and the Maxxis Carnivores. But these are 35 pounds, 34 or 35 pounds. These are 32 pounds. On a side-by-side, -side, that's not enough of a difference to base your decision off of weight. Um, I know that the, the Carnivores, they're super soft, uh, so they grip well, they're great, but they will wear out. Uh, I think they'll wear out a little quicker than the Roctanes. 
So it's gonna come down to personal uh, decision. I think these have a little more spacing, therefore they'll clean out good if you get in a trail that gets a little, where you get into some clay or something like that. These will be able to clean out better. These might would cake up quicker than these would. If you're in, uh, you do uh, some rocky conditions and all you do is hard pack trails or the road, then definitely you're gonna to wanna to come down on, onto this end and uh, get the comp tires or the M1 Evils. These, I was told, uh, they ran a set of these in the Baja uh, race and uh, ran a ton of miles. And when they got done, they still look brand new. So uh, these are a great tire on a heavy side by side. These would be something I'd go with if you're doing primarily hard pack stuff. But like I said, this would have to be my pick for an ATV tire if I was going with a 30 or 28 because um, it's going to be good all around. Uh, I wouldn't be scared to run either one of these on an ATV. Um, but these would definitely be my second, my pick on a side-by-side -side out of all these for my conditions. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment down in the uh, comment section what's your favorite all-terrain tire for an ATV and what's your favorite all-terrain tire on a side-by-side. -side. If it's one that's not in this, this video, uh, comment what you think about uh, your favorite one and the specs on it. But uh, look guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Come check these guys out at Main Street Cycle. You can check out all their tire selection. I mean, you ought to, you ought to look down through here. There's motorcycle tires, there's, there's rims for Polaris, Can-Am, uh, Yamaha, Honda, all the likes, and CF Moto, of course, being that that's the main one here at Main Street Cycle. But you got motorcycle tires and ATV tires rows and rows of them down through here but anyways come check them out main street cycle thank you to my patreon supporters uh go check out my patreon page if you'd like to support and be a part of this channel thank you so much for subscribing and watching give a thumbs up and we'll check you in the next video god bless y'all